Hi, I'm Daphne Richards, and this is Augie, CTG's resident doggy horticulturist. Recently, we've heard from a lot of gardeners whose tomatoes have a mushy black or brown rot on the bottom. This is blossom end rot. Thanks to Russell Bauer for sending this picture. Blossom end rot is a common disorder in tomatoes, but may also be found in peppers and eggplant. It's caused by calcium deficiency in the fruit, but adding calcium to the soil won't solve the problem. As plant cells are developing, they require a lot of calcium, and tomato fruit develops quite rapidly, sometimes depleting the plant's available calcium supply. There are many reasons why your tomato fruit may develop faster than it can replenish its calcium, but usually the reason is irregular watering. Soil that is very wet when you irrigate, then very dry between waterings, leads to irregular water uptake and fruit that develops in fits and starts. Usually, blossom end rot is only a problem for the first harvest of the season. Then plant growth kind of evens out, and water use by the plant evens out a bit too. When growth and water uptake occur at a steady rate, the fruit develops in a more even manner as well, and cells in the fruit receive enough calcium to develop properly. Certain cultivars and varieties of tomatoes are more prone to blossom end rot, so you may want to choose different varieties next year if you have a large problem with a particular variety this year. If you continue to have issues, you might try using sulfur to acidify the soil a bit and using a fertilizer with nitrogen in the nitrate form, not the ammoniacal form. Calcium sprays to the plant don't remedy the situation much since not much of the calcium applied to the leaves gets into the fruit where it's needed. Our pick of the week is Manfreda. There are many different species in the genus Manfreda. You may also find hybrid agave Manfreda crosses called mangaves. All are native to the southern U.S., Mexico, and Central America, and are great succulents for your garden. One species of Manfreda is known as Texas tuberos. As with most succulents, Manfredas require loose, airy soil with excellent drainage. Gardener Brent Henry has clay soil, so he mixes in decomposed granite to improve drainage. His Manfredas get partial sun with most of the sun in the afternoon, but shaded by a bur oak. He gives them practically no water and all have survived hard freezes and tough droughts just fine. They bloom reliably every spring with a four-foot bloom spike. Manfredas have a low-growing rosette habit and don't take up much space in the garden. With their long, sometimes curly leaves, they also look great in containers, especially when the container color plays off the spots on the leaves. To do this week, remember to deeply water your fruit trees, shade trees, and any new plants. But with new perennials or annuals, be careful not to overdo it. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions or plants from your garden.